While we enjoy an overall incredible experience from Amazon's voice assistant, there are moments when it can be absolutely frustrating. We've all had those moments where we're just not getting the response we're after, or it's an awkward exchange, or it's just completely wrong with what it's doing, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. And honestly guys, it feels a bit like Christmas to me because when we're talking about announcements of capabilities and features, we've had huge announcements from Samsung and Google and now Amazon has absolutely put out what I think is the biggest feature out of all of them. Amazon Skill Store reminds me more and more of the Apple App Store every day. It's bursting with skills that are interesting and I just want to try and I want to see what happens and they're from developers all over the world but the fact is Amazon has changed the game for skills again. I don't know if you've noticed this as much as I have but Miss A has been more conversational and quite frankly a little more flirty with me and I don't know whether to panic about that or to be really happy but the fact is they've recently put out the capability for their developers to start using using this conversational capability within the skills framework. Now, one of the things that has always stopped Miss A from being on my good side is the fact that I have to be so exact with the ordering of how I say certain phrases or certain things in order to get a good response out of her. It's been one of the most frustrating things for me and I'm betting for a lot of you as well. But what Amazon has done recently is deployed their deep neural language learning capabilities and they are giving this again to the skill developers so that we don't have to be so exact. If you watched our absolutely massive comparison of the three major voice assistants, then you would have seen one of the things that I hammered Amazon for in that was the lack of a good mobile presence. Yes, we have the application and yes, we have access to things like the Echo Buds, but from a true mobile standpoint, Apple and Google led the way for a very long time because their voice assistants could be embedded in the operating system. But Amazon went and took this a whole step further with the ability for app makers to actually include Miss A within their application to drive all kinds of different functions. So from the examples I've seen, I mean, search capability on Twitter using Amazon's voice assistant, I might use that all day to be honest, just to find the trends going on. Uh, I saw a great video that TikTok actually put out and showed us how creators were actually starting and stopping recording with Amazon's voice assistant and this can get much deeper as we go further into what Amazon has announced. See, for me, all of the interactions that I've had with Miss A to date have been pretty flat or pretty linear. I mean, I can request something and we can walk through the steps that Amazon has available to it and then that's pretty much the end. But with skill resumption, this becomes a very different potential experience. And let me put it all together for you. When I was at CES 2019, Alan and I would sit there and we would book Ubers. And you know, you gotta go into the application, you book it, and then you gotta wait, and you gotta check back every so often. But with the new way that this experience could work, I'm kind of excited. See, I could put in my Echo Buds, open the Uber application, and instantly use Amazon. Amazon's voice assistant to book myself a ride to my current location. Then from there, not only could I jump out of the app, not think about it at all, and every once in a while, whenever I felt the need, I could ask where the car was with Miss A. And then, this is even better, Miss A can tell me when the car has arrived so I don't even have to think about asking. Okay, now I feel like I blew your mind a little bit there and that's a lot to take in. So let's slow down for a second and talk about some of the changes coming to the smart displays. I mean, the interface on here, it's always been a bit of a struggle and especially when we talk about skills, you know what, they're just not great visual and audio experiences, but some of the updates and the upgrades that Amazon has already given given developers has resulted in pretty incredible experiences. Here's one that you can get today. Open Word Pop. Welcome back to Words with Friends Word Pop. Meets. Mets. Alexa, meets. Mets. 
<laughs> Stream. Stream. Your time is up. Wow. You won three stars with 1,150 points. For now that was pretty interactive and not that linear either. And I think if you guys are really paying attention here, that's really based on a lot of web technology. So there's a lot of access for companies and developers that's already created games to just jump in and use the overall toolkit that Amazon has given us. One of the most frustrating things for me recently has been when I request a certain skill and then I get something else and oftentimes I can't even solve this one. They just keep suggesting the other one or bringing the other one up. But Amazon is doing a lot of work on this front to give developers much more opportunity to give us the right situations that they should bring up their skill in. So we'll have to see how this plays out, but there's a lot more information being given to Miss A to make the right decision. So we'll see. The other major shift is a switch of the Miss A application. And many of you already have this rolled out and the full rollout will be completed by the end of August. But what you're going to find is some pretty similar things right off the bat. And then when you start to delve in, this thing's pretty different. Now, the communicate play and devices pages, those are exactly the same as they were before just a little bit of a different menu at the bottom. And speaking of that, the more button is really the menu from the previous version of the application, but a little less sluggish and honestly, a little better layout as far as I'm concerned. And they've also removed the miss a button from the bottom and given you the ability to enable the wake word within the application. So I don't really care that that button's gone, but really the biggest change is on the front page or the home page. And this is a completely customized page for you. It's meant to unearth some hidden capabilities and some hidden skills, but really Amazon's still going to struggle with a lot of that. And that's why I produced the video that is up on screen right now, which will show you nine incredible features that you're probably not using right now. So go check that out. Otherwise guys, thanks for watching. And of course, don't hate, automate.